All right, welcome everyone here on block party number 48. We're identifying what are the benefits, what are the tangible benefits to feeding everyone plant-based foods? Number one, end hunger and malnutrition, okay? Number two, stop animal agriculture, stop the devastation of the biosphere and the release of methane and all that driving, accelerating exponential planetary overheating by making the shift to plant-based foods, right? Number three, we begin to liberate humanity from the game of the all day monopoly game of individual hoarding for individual survival. Four, we stop the spread of, of COVID and other pandemics to come by delivering food directly to people's homes, enabling them A, to stay at home as opposed to going out to try to get food or beg for food or work some meaningless job to try to buy, get money to buy food we stop the spread of COVID and pandemics that are, that are sure to come by delivering the food so they don't have to go and immune boosting food, boosting their immune systems, right? Any one of those on its own makes it valuable enough to do that program. But all four of those gigantic benefits, including the liberation of humanity herself, from the all day monopoly game so that we can then begin to focus on other things that are important other than damn survival. Everyone is focused on survival and we're, but individual survival, we need to come together to focus on our collective survival. It's like individual people aboard the Titanic, each one trying to get their own life preserver versus plugging the damn hole so that we can stop the ship from sinking. Cause we all go down if the ship goes down. So. I, for all these reasons, there's one thing we need to focus on first, feeding everyone, and we happen to have the vehicle to do it in a way that it'll be self-funding and grow exponentially once we give it a proper launch. That's it in a nutshell. Three minutes or less. There you have it. Anything to add? Any questions? No, seriously. Right? All I would, all I would add is that um, by freeing people from the all-day monopoly game, what you're doing is you're, you're freeing them from fear. The, system, the current system we had is is, is uh, based upon fear. Um, exactly. It's built exactly in. Exactly right. It's, all, it's necessary. It's not just a, an aspect. It's, 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 it's integral to the system. And if Absolutely. You free, you free Absolutely. You free people from fear and you release their natural ingenuity and their natural humanity. Exactly. And then it becomes a virtuous cycle. Yeah. And we feel good when we help our brothers and sisters. I'm just going to share some images because this is something I'm doing here on Whidbey Island, Washington, where I live, food healers of Whidbey Island. This is the kind of gourmet food we're talking about feeding everyone, 100% plant-based, so many different varieties. We're going to get the best chefs involved. The formula simple, buy massive quantities of food, potatoes, lentils, brown rice, et cetera, et cetera, produce, et cetera right? It's essentially free if you buy it in large enough volume. Six and a half cents a pound for dried lentils. I mean, just ridiculously inexpensive. You cook it all up in big industrial machinery, super clean, super high quality standards. There's no skimping. We make absolutely delicious foods. We have the technology to, to distribute fluids at close to zero degrees centigrade while still fluid. And we do it in a beautiful space age looking combination of the Tesla truck with a space age looking trailer. Looks like food from the future and it is, it's food for the future. Plant-based foods, simple as that. That's a story. And if Elon Musk gets behind it, not financially, but just loan us the dang truck, dude, right? But the thing is once he's in with the truck, he'll be in with his mind, his creativity. He's a smart dude, I've met him. He'll see that this is the way to go. So we need to get on it. We need to get on it now. Okay. We need to blast our way. Yeah. And then the donations that come pouring in because people will say, well, everyone's going to get it. Everyone's in the, the donations just going to pour in. We'll have the money to do it all over the world ongoingly. And the derivative benefits for society, ending pandemics, ending extreme poverty. With that, yeah. you, you drastically reduce crime and illness and so many terrible things. We're just going to have a huge, it'll be like a new renaissance. And then with a unified humanity and liberated from fear and liberated from the all day monopoly game, which is derived from fear and scarcity, then we're really onto something. 
Yeah, I must admit it gets me down when people talk about things taking two or three generations. This could take two or three years, couldn't it? Or less. No, this could do it. No, two or three weeks. Okay. In two or three weeks, this thing. No, seriously, it can just explode. Because even though it might take time to get the Tesla trucks out there, the Tesla truck is aspirational. It's getting the idea out there that yes, we can. Yes, we can feed everyone. And so they'll be using diesel trucks in Uganda. I don't care. The important thing is to feed everyone now. The donations will come pouring in and in two or three weeks, we can feed everyone. There's no reason to delay this even one week. We just got to start, but make it a solid start that blasts its way. That's a story. Just like I showed you on the press conference with President Fox. We got to blast our way in. I'm on board. Let's do it. Thank you. So bring everyone you can to this meeting, please. Keep Tell me who to add to the email list, forward my emails, whatever you got to do, but we got to get everyone here. Okay, well, it's, it's half past five in the UK now. What's, what's the deal for the rest of the day? Because I do need to go for half an hour, but I can, I can come back later on. Great.